Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into all things carnivore. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for the latest tips and insights on the zero-carb lifestyle. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that's often whispered about in the carnivore community, cheating on the carnivore diet. What happens when you indulge in those tempting carbs? Let's get into it. But, before we start, let me know in the comments. Have you ever cheated on the carnivore diet? How did it make you feel and how did you get back on track? Your experiences can help others in our community. The carnivore diet is a fascinating approach to nutrition with its zero-carb, animal-product-focused regimen. This diet, which includes foods like meat, fish, eggs, and some dairy, has gained popularity for its potential health benefits. But let's be honest, the temptation of carbs is a real struggle. Whether it's a warm slice of pizza, that scoop of ice cream, or a fluffy piece of bread, these cravings can be hard to resist. So why might someone give in to these carb cravings? Well, for starters, old habits die hard. If you're accustomed to a carb-heavy diet, it's natural to crave what you're familiar with. Secondly, social situations can be a minefield. Picture this. You're at a birthday party, and there's cake. It's tough to say no. And lastly, sometimes you just want a cheat day. You figure, hey, I've been good all week, I deserve a treat. But here's the million-dollar question, what happens when you cheat on the carnivore diet? What's the fallout of indulging in those tempting carbs? When you consume carbs, your body undergoes a significant shift. It moves out of a state called ketosis, where your body burns fat for fuel instead of carbs. This state is responsible for the energy and mental clarity many people experience on the carnivore diet. But when you eat carbs, your body has to change gears. Your blood sugar levels spike causing your body to release insulin. This insulin release halts fat burning and prompts your body to start using glucose for energy. Essentially, you're booted out of ketosis. But the effects of cheating on the carnivore diet go beyond just being kicked out of ketosis. It can also lead to digestive distress and blood sugar swings, leaving you feeling worse than before you cheated. So, what really happens when you give in to those carb cravings? Well, stick around. We're about to delve into the immediate effects and aftermath of cheating on the carnivore diet. When you consume carbs, your body experiences a sudden shift. As you probably already know, the carnivore diet is all about maintaining a state of ketosis. In this state, your body is burning fat for fuel instead of carbs which can lead to increased energy and mental clarity. But when carbs come into play, this metabolic equilibrium gets disrupted. Here's what happens. As you introduce carbs into your system after a period of abstinence, your blood sugar spikes. This sudden surge in blood sugar levels signals your body to release insulin, a hormone that regulates glucose in your bloodstream. Now, insulin is a bit of a party pooper when it comes to ketosis. Its main job is to ensure that glucose, not fat, is used for energy. So, when insulin shows up, it's like a switch flipping in your body. Fat burning is put on hold and glucose becomes the star of the show. In essence, you're evicted from the state of ketosis. But it's not just the shift out of ketosis you need to worry about. Depending on the amount of carbs you've indulged in, it can take several days to a week to get back into ketosis. That's several days to a week of potentially feeling off your game as your body readjusts to burning fat for fuel. And let's not forget about the infamous carb crash. After the initial surge in blood sugar and the temporary energy boost it can bring, there's often a rapid drop in blood sugar levels. This can leave you feeling fatigued, irritable, and struggling with brain fog. So, while that cheat meal might have tasted good in the moment, it can quickly lead to an unpleasant cocktail of physical discomfort and mood swings. It's like a hangover, but for your diet. But the immediate effects don't stop there. Next, we'll delve into the aftermath of cheating on the carnivore diet and what it means for your body in the long run. Stay tuned. Cheating on the carnivore diet can often make you feel pretty lousy. Why is that? Well, it's all about fuel. Our bodies get used to processing a specific type of fuel. On the carnivore diet, that fuel is fat. But when you suddenly introduce a large amount of carbs, it can cause some serious digestive distress. You might experience bloating, gas, or even stomach pain. That's because your digestive system has to work overtime to process something it's not used to. Remember when you first started the carnivore diet and had to deal with the keto flu? That's your body adjusting to a new fuel source. The same thing happens when you reintroduce carbs into your diet but in reverse. And there's more. That spike in blood sugar from eating carbs can lead to a crash later on. You might feel a sudden burst of energy followed by extreme fatigue, irritability, and brain fog. 
this roller coaster of blood sugar levels can leave you feeling worse than before you cheated. Think about it like this. Imagine you've been running on high quality petrol for months and suddenly you switch to a lower grade fuel. Your engine is going to struggle and you might even experience some serious sputtering. But it's not just about how you feel immediately after cheating. There are also long-term effects to consider. Repeatedly cheating on the carnivore diet can lead to weight gain, increased inflammation, and a decreased ability to burn fat. Plus, it can make it harder to get back into ketosis next time you try to stick to the diet. So, you've had your cheat day and you're feeling pretty rotten. Now what? Well, it's time to recover and get back on track, but that's easier said than done. And the question remains, how long does it take to recover? Well, that depends on several factors. But for now, remember this, cheating on the carnivore diet isn't the end of the world, it's a learning experience. Listen to your body, learn from the experience, and keep moving forward. Getting back on track after a cheat day depends on several factors. Re-entering the state of ketosis, where your body burns fat for fuel instead of carbs, can take anywhere from a few days to a week. This timeline can be influenced by your metabolic rate, the amount of carbs you consume during your cheat day, and most importantly, how you respond to this detour. The first step towards recovery is to return to zero-carb meals. This is easier said than done, as cravings can be stronger after a cheat day. Every time you resist the temptation, you're strengthening your willpower muscle. It's okay if you stumble, just pick yourself up and get back on track. While strictly adhering to your carnivore diet, consider incorporating intermittent fasting or even a full-day fast. This can help deplete your glycogen stores quicker, accelerating your return to ketosis. However, it's important to approach fasting with caution if you're new to it. Always listen to your body and break your fast if you start to feel unwell. Hydrating is another crucial step. Drinking plenty of water will help flush out the excess carbs and toxins from your body. Aim for at least 8 glasses of water a day, but don't hesitate to drink more if you're feeling thirsty. Exercise is also a powerful tool in your recovery arsenal. Engaging in high-intensity workouts can help burn off the extra glucose in your body. Plus, it's a great way to blow off some steam and reduce cheat day guilt. Lastly, don't forget to replenish your electrolytes, especially if you're fasting. Electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium are essential for your body's functions. You can get these from a variety of sources such as bone broth, sea salt, or even electrolyte supplements. Here are some tips to help you bounce back. A cheat day is not a failure, it's just a bump in the road. The key is to get back on track as soon as possible, learn from the experience, and keep moving forward. Keep these tips in mind, and you'll be back in ketosis before you know it. Fasting, hydration, exercise, and electrolytes can help speed up your recovery. We're talking about the aftermath of a cheat day on the carnivore diet and ways to bounce back quickly. Let's get into it. The first step to a swift recovery is fasting. Consider intermittent fasting, or even a full day fast, to help deplete your body's glycogen stores faster. This means your body will start burning fat for fuel again sooner. Now fasting isn't for everyone, so if you're new to it, start small. Try extending the time between your dinner and breakfast, and gradually increase your fasting window. Next up is hydration. Drinking plenty of water after a cheat day can work wonders. Water helps to flush out excess carbs and toxins from your system. It also aids digestion and can help to alleviate some of the discomfort you may be experiencing after indulging in those carbs. Exercise is another powerful tool in your recovery arsenal. High-intensity workouts can help burn off the extra glucose in your body. Think of it as a way of using up the fuel you've just added. Plus, exercise releases endorphins the feel-good hormones which can help lift your mood if you're feeling a little down after your cheat day. Finally, don't forget about your electrolytes, especially if you're fasting. Replenishing electrolytes can help prevent the dreaded keto flu symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and muscle cramps. You can get electrolytes from carnivore-friendly foods like bone broth, fatty cuts of beef, liver, and certain types of fish, or you can opt for a quality electrolyte supplement. I hope you found this deep dive into cheating on the carnivore diet helpful. Remember, we're all human and occasional slip-ups happen. The key is understanding the impact and knowing how to bounce back quickly. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest tips and advice for thriving on a carnivore diet. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. No.